So for those who have had some exposure to uh, Western marching bands, American marching bands, uh, you see that they, they're going for the things that really interest them, that really resonate with them, um, you know, emotionally. Uh, so, so we don't have the brass, we don't have the woodwind. We have a large percussion section serving as the band, and many more of the marching bells, some people call them glockenspiel, uh, many more of those marching bell sets than, than most American bands have. So things that, that relate back to their tradition. All right, we have a, a phenomenon in island Southeast Asia, uh, Philippines and Indonesia, that uh, American R&B is extremely popular. And I showed you in the uh, first lesson, Lesson 10.1, uh, a little clip from Indonesian Idol lets you know that that brand has gone over there and that style of competition. Uh, here's another example, and we have an Indonesian singer competing in that, uh, Ameri or excuse me, Indonesian Idol competition, and she's uh, covering Beyonce's Crazy in Love. Uh, <laughs> I have to say, Matt, the verse is a little pitchy for me, dog. Sorry, I couldn't help myself. More and more every time I'm in the list, I'm begging you to to go Calling them two, three times in a row And you find it for me, try to wake me How I'm feeling in my front is the one to be Yeah, cause I know I don't understand Just how you look, it's doing the one to be All right, in Lesson 10.1, I introduce you to a band called Krakatau. They're the ones that had that kind of uh, cheesy video, futuristic uh, aliens, UFOs, etc. Uh, but the music was great. I, I told you that the bass player, you know, I'd love to have him do a competition with uh, Flea from Red Hot Chili Peppers. And here's that band again. And this one is really interesting to me because of the the use of the traditional bronze idiophones 
And when you keep watching, keep listening, you're going to hear one keyboard that's, that's tuned in the Western system, you know, major, minor, half steps, whole steps. But then as you go on, you're going to hear another keyboard, which this guy has tuned to the Indonesian Slendro scale. Or, excuse me, I think it's the Pelag scale. Um, so, so take a listen, uh, hang in there long enough so you hear that other keyboard and, and listen to the interesting sound of, of the bass playing, you know, in the Western scale system while this keyboard plays in the Indonesian system. Now, to our ears, attuned to the Western system, that that sounds out of tune. It, it sounds like it doesn't match up. But that is the Indonesian um, interval system. And I think it's really fascinating to put it into kind of a funk, jazz, fusion type of song. Now, here's another look at Krakatau. And, and maybe the uh, contrast would be a little bit more discernible to you here, a little more stark. Because the bottom keyboard you're going to hear is tuned to the Western semitone system, the half steps. And the top keyboard, which is played relatively near the end of this clip, is tuned to the Indonesian system. 